Welcome back guys to my channel. In this channel we talk about how to add an extra income to your existing earnings. Well in today's video uh, I will compare different AI tools which are used for graphic design and does that change the way the graphic designer work or uh, will it replace the graphic designers we will discuss that in the end. So let's begin. Okay, which is in the beta version and uh, it has uh, all these options text to image, text effects and uh, recoloring of vectors and all those exciting things it has and let's let's try something you know uh, to have an idea how it's gonna make an image so I've already you know written something for like uh, just checking this out how it's gonna work so let's see okay so here we would be describing the thing i've written inside a wrestling ring muhammad ali boxer punching the superman that's what i said and let's see what it generates and how much time it's going to take mm -hmm. so one more word violets uh, i think so i think a um, punch would be something okay let's see I think you cannot even write punch that's something not understandable for now so I've just removed the weird punch and as you can see it's not that great um, maybe we should go with the graphics and see what's different Hmm. it's too cartoonish and if we go with a photo what happens okay it's saying me that it's voidating something. I think it's better to check the other prompt which I was thinking. As for the most part, what I've seen from my experience that most of these AI tools doesn't uh, write properly any text. So uh, I'm hoping that Adobe has fixed this issue. okay as you can see uh, this tool does a bit of justice with that uh, this one we can call that uh, it's giving us a better result but still you can see it uh, it has so much spelling mistakes in that well I have given it a thing that assets digital but it has given us a little bit of idea how it's gonna be looking so I think we should try uh, graphics maybe that would be better okay mm -hmm. So as you can see it has some limitations, uh, popular designs, I think we could go with digital art. Here also art. I will fast forward the video from uh, time to time because uh, it will be boring and I don't want it to be boring. I want uh, that you should know that what it's capable of and 
what things are missing. So I have tried uh, several times and I feel that this prompt which we are using, we should write a better version of it. Game is on. And maybe it's crank. Let's see what it does with that. <laughs> Completely ignore the game is on. <laughs> Just baby crank. That's it for for the. Okay. Uh, rather than I think the previous two uh, prompts which I've chosen for this video, we can have several ones, and uh, only the good ones are shown by the website, so that you can you get inspired and you know get into the habit of changing things. Well, this one is a better version of it. More realistic, but uh, I think this one, this one is too much exaggerated. Like, and this one doesn't look like a baby. Some other face which is being you know imposed on the uh, picture, and this also doesn't look like a baby to me. So well, do let me know in comments what you think. And we can we can have something uh, of this sort in here. Uh, we have an app called Text Image. So it's called Text Image here. So here it is. And uh, for that, uh, I will be using not a photo, a dreamy thing, and we will be saying the same things here. Okay, so let's create and see what it makes. Uh, it's closer to Muhammad Ali. It's looking closer. Yeah, this looks much better. But it's cartoonish, you can see. Maybe I think we should change the style and it will make a difference. Let's convert it to photo. Create again. All right, so this is the photo which I think it's much better. It is understanding that I'm talking about Muhammad Ali and hitting a Superman. This photo understand, but this photo doesn't. So uh, yeah, they lack very de much detail things which we want them to understand AI technology, but it doesn't understand for now. But yeah, gradually it's getting better and better. So we can hope that it will fix these things. It cannot write text. Uh, it might be for the purpose that, you know, you don't misuse it. The technology should not be misused. And as you can see, there's very sharp images. You can see that it can create Firefly. And yeah. I think we should try a better prompt, maybe uh, that will make a difference. So for now, I believe, I believe, I believe this one is more realistic. That's nice. So instead of flower, we would say glow beads, um, knife. Oh no, we don't want to confuse it. Uh, ball, yeah, why not? Hmm. Uh, never mind. Uh, you should know that uh, all this AI technology is doing is that it's taking images out of Adobe Stock and it is making them, you know, according to your, you know, design what you want. You're a little bit stylizing what it is doing. So all these three, uh, four balls, you can see that the purplish and uh, the color tone is almost the same for all three. And I think this ball is looking a little bit good. Or this one. Okay, we should check which one is looking nice. I think this one is looking nice. All right, yeah, so this is for the text to image. And I want to explore every each and everything so that 
uh, we would have a good idea will it replace the graphic designers once and for all or not is not a possibility so uh, here's a text effect and i think this is this would be a killer when it comes to logo designing so okay so if we if we take an example so that we would create we will not recreate any of those we will say write a Okay, can you hear me? I think that AI would do a good job in here as uh, already it knows that it's a text which he has, which it has to, you know, work on and it's just a letter. We should create something good out of it. Uh, in the meanwhile, we can look at the, you know, uh, effects. Oh my goodness me. This is so refreshing to see. That's my going for sure. Uh, the detail, the amount of detail they have given it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure why it's writing Firefly, whereas I think I have given it a command. Okay, we have to give it a command over here. Well, with the most logos you have seen that they are pretty simple. And uh, not always they are so much design and so much thing. But yeah, they look fascinating for sure. Uh, if you can see that this is looking very fascinating. At least for me, I think it's uh, amazing. It's looking nice. As a graphic designer myself, I, I uh, we used to get inspirations from other designs. And this could be one of the inspirations uh, which can create a good logo or a good, you know, uh, mark for any of the brands. And yeah, it's it's showing a bit of class in this. Yeah, I can see. Well, I've only uh, set a goldfish and it has, you know, put an aquarium all together and fitted it right, really nicely. And I do love this for sure. I love this. And it will make the graphic designers job really easy if somebody likes such kind of design which is too much messy for our logo but it could be a, a, a graphic that can be used uh, in anyone's website and uh, even if you create animation with that that will really look nice so yeah um, yeah this tool is, this one uh, feature of the firefly is uh, the best according to me and i really 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 loved it so this one i'm downloading it uh, uh, i'll fast forward the video all right so here's uh, the svg file and we will say open and then it's loading and it is saying that describe the colors you want it to be in okay i want it Okay, so I've said that I want it to be in a YouTube red gradient color. I am sure that it's going to give us a real good red color to this. As you can see, well, I fast forward the video from here till it shows something. It hasn't changed any color as far as I can see. I'm not sure why it's showing me four, all four of this without changing the colors. Okay, and now we shall try the function maybe somewhere like some. It's still not showing any color to this. Okay, you understand why it's not. Okay, so I don't know why why we have it in the first place, uh, you know, the description that we want this in this color, because it has not created any difference. For you it might work, so do check. But for me, as you can see, it's not working. Maybe I think I should clear all these ones, uh, all these options. What color is there? Nothing. So far I can see nothing changed. There should be something which might be missing. Okay, so I found, I figured, I finally figured out what was, was the missing link, and then, mm -hmm. okay. 
as you can see it's taking a longer time and still I don't feel any worth with this if you already have the vector it only makes sense when you have a vector from any other website and uh, <clears throat> Uh, well, uh, for this tool, I have seen enough. I believe uh, this tool has to do with something that if you have uh, any uh, sort of a vector drawing and you just want to see how the color changes will work or not. And it's just kind of an exercise you can do with it. Gradient in it, um, there's no such kind of, you know, options which we can do. Like if you want to change just about the text color, not the whole thing, you can do that with it. And uh, with this preserve black and white thing, it just makes a little bit sense that anything you want to ke keep, you should have to keep it in black and white and the other things would be changed. But what if you only are using these two colors and in your logo, it will not give you any good. So let's keep on uh, checking the other other things. Already, you might have uh, you know figured out that it's taking a bit longer, 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 and longer each time we do things, and it just is impressive. But it's my opinion that AI cannot replace you know humans for sure. A graphic designer is you know think a lot and they are focused with AI you get options that's for sure but those options uh, if a gra as a graphic designer we can see we can see which things can work which things doesn't work and we are comparing it with something and for AI it's just not comparing that much and uh, as with the design a good or bad design it is you know showing you straight up Whereas as a graphic designer, we refine a lot of stuff. We create uh, those which are going with harmony and, you know, a lot of, you know, design concepts. And then we bring to you something that is really useful. Okay, uh, so, um, uh, as you have already seen what uh, I've explored uh, so far, so I have come to a conclusion. Uh, that conclusion is based upon what I have seen. Um, when when a client approaches some graphic designer, yeah, he approaches with his uh, concept and with his idea, with his uh, sketches and all. And once that you have, you have to process those all all things and get up to an idea which can you uh, which can work for that brand. So there's a very particular thing which you're looking for. And with the AI, you get options and options and options and options, multiple options, right? And still, there's no conclusion to it, you know? There's no conclusive design. It cannot generate you that conclusive design and you have to repeat the process, you have to um, change the prompts, you just have to, you know, give your feedback onto it. It's just like uh, a machine, you know. You you um, it's it is a system that you put in in uh, you know you typed in you um, try to you know figure out that it's gonna work. So it's just that you are uh, progressively you know working on it to work for you. Uh, whereas when you hire a graphic designer, you want them to understand wh what you are talking about and make notes and after understanding create a design that is unique and all so you compare it with a lot of things you know once you complete a design you don't give it a raw form whereas with the ai it gives you a raw uh, thing each time and with this bombardment you uh, lose your focus that's what i think 
but uh, you might have a different uh, you know um, perspective of this uh, whole but uh, what i can conclude from here is that the graphic designers will not be replaced yeah but these tools will help them to uh, gain those ideas which they were not having before like for for instance if somebody do not have an access to stock images uh, he would have uh, missed a lot of things you know while he was processing uh, while he was thinking about the design and all but um, it, let me tell you one thing that you will lose focus when you do things on ai because sometimes it gets slow sometimes it gives you uh, a different angle to the things which you were not thinking of so yeah it it will put you off track for sure that's what that's what i can say, tell you for now but it will not make your job easier